globally there is a increased focus on greenhouse gas emissions uh, co2 reduction people are focused on scope 2 and scope 3 uh, emissions as well and just not their own uh, footprint but also their suppliers and partners we also see uh, very clearly these questions being asked by our customers so clearly also commitment and investment by our customers on decarbonizing their supply chains which we are um, a core element of The easiest way to capture the carbon emissions is looking at the total fuel consumption of the ship because whatever energy we burn that is emitting something into the air. There are a lot of factors that affect uh, the total consumption or the total emissions from a ship. Speed, the routing, how she is loaded, which kind of fuel we are using. This is the CO2 excess consumption and which has come down if you see from between January and November. we had to collect a lot of information for example the crew on the ship uses a lot of data sources to key in the data through the voyage of the ship so we married the data from the external sources and the internal sources we ingested around 120 tables data tables to come up with the visualized dashboard that could help us see what is the health of the ship and also create reports that could be submitted to the execs and the imo So reporting to the IMO is done on an annual basis. So for all of our vessels, we send for the whole year the consolidated data in terms of distance, consumption and carbon emissions there and then the authorities verify that information and apply a rating to the vessel depending on which then we have to apply corrective actions in the following years. We use the data on a regular basis that helps us in deciding which ships need to improve their emissions because we need to make sure at the end of the year our ships are as compliant as we can make them the current platform the way it is designed it is more uh, based on data set and rear view mirror but with ai it can become more dynamic and it can have a forward looking view a 48 hours view or or even a one week view so that the crew the captain on the vessel they can be guided to take real time decisions they can actually proactively and dynamically manage the co2 emissions better it's a marathon it's not a sprint the whole decarbonization um, roadmap that we've embarked on is a really complex and challenging one our ambition to be about um, you know to see about one third of uh, emissions reduction by 2030 aiming for a carbon net zero fleet uh, operation by 2045 that is where carbon reporting and ci in particular comes into play it's also a key element in keeping ourselves accountable for getting there as we've committed <laughs>